Hey everybody, so today I have a 2012 Mac Pro that has two of the six core processors that are running at 3.46 gigahertz. Now this also has 128 gigabytes of RAM. Now I bought this Mac Pro so that we can replace a Mac Pro over here that's a little bit slower. Now this one only has two four core processors. So this one will be a pretty good bit faster. And this one only has 32 gigs of RAM, whereas this one has 128 gigabytes of RAM. So we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna take the solid state drives out of this one, probably the video card out of this one, and we're gonna put it in this one so that we can get this one up and running for them so it'll be much quicker. So give me just a moment to grab my tools and we'll get started with all that. Okay, so I got the Mac Pro out of the box and the person who packaged this did a phenomenal job. Not only did they use the original packaging material that came with the Apple box, they even included some extra bubble wrap just to give it that extra layer of protection. So thumbs up, two thumbs up for them for packaging it so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue to take off this plastic from the Mac Pro and then I'm going to go ahead and shut this Mac Pro down and I'm going to start swapping everything over and I'll show you once we get it booted up that everything should be working. So give me a few moments. Okay, so I just got that Mac Pro shut down. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that Mac Pro out and I'm probably going to need to put the video card that's in this old Mac Pro in this one. And the only reason for that is so that these Apple monitors will work with this new Mac Pro. So give me a few moments and I'll get that done. Okay, so I got the old video card out from the old Mac Pro. But the reason we're gonna use this one is it works perfectly with these Apple monitors because it has the mini display port. So I'm gonna set this to the side for just a moment and I'm gonna pull out the video card from the new Mac Pro, or I should say newer, and then we're gonna put that old video card in the newer Mac Pro and then I'll put it back together and we'll boot it up. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the hard drives that came with the new computer and I'm going to take out the hard drives from the old computer and I'm going to put these hard drives from the old computer into the new one. And you're probably wondering, well, why am I doing that? It's because all of our data is on the old hard drives and I want it to be on the new computer. So I'm just going to swap them. And then at that point we'll be done and we'll be able to boot this new one up. Okay, so here is the brand new computer that has the old solid state drives, the old hard drives, and it's got the new RAM and the new processor. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up and turn it on. Now I'm gonna take the old computer, which is right here, and we're not getting rid of that computer. We're just gonna set it to the side because it's a perfectly good working computer. We're just gonna set it to the side for now and then we'll maybe upgrade another computer down the road. But for now, I'm gonna hook this one up and we'll turn it on to make sure it works. Okay, so I got everything hooked up. So I'm about to turn it on. Now, if for any reason the new Mac Pro or new to you Mac Pro does not work when you try to turn it on. All we're gonna do is start changing stuff back to the way it was when you first got it. Put the hard drives back in, the ones that you got with the new Mac Pro. Put the video card back in, the one that you got with the Mac Pro. And if it still won't work, 
well then you probably need to talk to the person you bought it from or the company so let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works so as you can see the light is on see it right there and it looks like it's still trying to boot up so we're going to give it just a few moments to see if it'll finish booting up there we go so we've got one screen we're going to let it try to boot into the mac os and then we're going to see if the other screen comes on which was the whole reason we had to swap out the video cards because we wanted both screens so there's that first screen still waiting to see if the second screen comes alive there we go booting into the mac os and we have a second screen and look, it swapped over to the correct one. So this is now the primary, and this is the secondary. This is fantastic. This is exactly what we wanted. So that, that's perfect. Hey, thanks for going along with me, everybody, while I installed that 2012 Mac Pro that had the two six-core processors that were running at 3.46 gigahertz, and it had 128 gigabytes of RAM. And then I moved that solid-state drive over and I put Mojave on that computer, and it worked fantastic. And so it was a fantastic upgrade for those people, and I'm really glad that I was able to help them out. Now, you can do that same upgrade, but make sure it's one of the older Mac Pros, and you're upgrading to the 2012 Mac Pro. And I would recommend go ahead and get the fastest one you can, the 3.46 gigahertz. Now, you can go ahead and get the newer 2013 Mac Pro that looked like the trash can, or the 2019 Mac Pro where they completely redesigned it again and went back to the similar style with the aluminum tower. Now, either one of those are going to work great too, but the steps may not work exactly the same as they did with that 2012 Mac Pro. But I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about those. And if you'd like for me to make a video, please let me know that too and I'll be glad to help you with that. And as always, because y'all do such a great job, if you'll hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.